Hey y'all, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my own at-home gel pedicure. I am a licensed nail tech. I work in a salon full-time. I'm going to show you everything that you need and a step-by-step -step process. I'm also going to be adding some unicorn chrome to my toes. So if that's something you'd like to see, then just keep on watching. So here we have my long talons with their grown out gel polish. I'm going to show you how to take it off at home. The first step you need to do is get a file and file the top coat off really well. I normally just drill mine off but I'm doing this for the sake of the video. And also I did not have 100% acetone. You need 100% acetone. I used what I had on hand and it did not want to take the polish off that well. And you'll see that later in this video. If you had 100% acetone then it would just flake off really easily. So I did end up just drilling off the rest of this polish. But I just wanted to show you guys how to remove it. Once you wrap it in the foil you wait about 5-10 minutes and then scrape it off. So now would be the time when you would start to scrape it off and normally it flakes off much easier than this. Like I said, just get 100% acetone and I'm using the back of a pusher to do this. Petty tub I'm using today is by Homedics. It has these bristles on the bottom to exfoliate your feet. It also bubbles. You can conveniently turn it on from this button here. It comes with this pumice stone combo with a brush. I only use the brush. I don't really like the pumice side. This lip here to rest your feet in a convenient little carrying. This Max Fill line, do not go over it. You will flood the floor. And also, don't make your water too hot because this tub does stay heated and heats itself and you will really be burning up, girl. So this is my setup. I've got the petty tub near the couch so I can sit there, some candles burning. I've got the petty tub on a towel on the floor, a little towel for the petty tub. Make sure that it is plugged in far from you. You do not want that getting wet at all. I sit on the couch and I make sure I have a table near to prop my foot on and a towel as well. So here I have a bag for trash, my gel light, some body scrub I'm going to use to exfoliate, some cuticle oil and alcohol. I also have some callus remover and cuticle eliminator. To moisturize my legs and feet, I'm going to use jojoba oil and this collagen moisturizer. I have some paper towels, my pumice stone, gloves for later, my tools I'm going to need, as well as some cotton, acetone, products for gel on my toes, products for unicorn chrome, and then some files, a buffer, and a cleanup brush. All right, so let's get our feet soaking. Looking like two hot dogs. A uh, little disclaimer, we are gonna get very up close and personal with my feet. If you are uncomfortable with this, I would exit the video now. Moving on, I just really take this time to relax, listen to music, drink some wine, enjoy the hot water, scrub my feet against the bristles. I'll add in some essential oils and just live my best life. I'm going to start off by clipping my toenails and I just clip them straight across flush with the top of my toe basically. I like my toenails to be square so I just really take my time with the file. I just like to go straight over the top and then I get the sides a little bit, make sure to round the edges slightly. Just make sure everything's looking straight to you. It is a difficult angle to get in. You have to scrunch over a lot. I do apologize about this angle and this lighting. It is an awkward angle to be in in general and then also to film. The time of day that I would normally do my pedicure would be at night with lamps and candles. But I think I did have on extra lights still in this video. Now 
Now I'm taking this cuticle eliminator. I purchased it at Sally's. I'm just going to put it on my cuticles and it's going to make it much easier to remove them. You can either start removing them right now or you can soak your feet back in the water, which is what I prefer. So we're going to go back in for a soak. So I have one foot out. I'm just going to give a little wipe and start to push back the cuticles. As you can see, the dead skin is going to start coming up. And the little trick that I have, which I don't have much cuticle, but if you take this towel and really wipe all the way around it, you'll see it gets rid of most of that dead skin. So if you just wipe really well after pushing them back, you can get rid of so much dead skin, especially since they've been soaking, softened, they had the eliminator. Cleaning underneath, all around the sides, this is what you would have done if you were getting your feet done professionally. You just want to take the extra care to get in all the little nooks and crannies. These are some cuticle nippers. Place this little lever in there to make it easier to grip. You can hold them in your hand like so. Some people hold them overhanded like this but I just prefer holding them regular and I do take the little lever out. I just like using it that way. We're gonna go in with just little bitty nips to get that dead skin off. And you can see I'm just going lightly. You don't need much pressure. This tool really does its job, but be very careful. If you don't know how to use this and it's too much pressure, you will cut yourself. You don't have to worry about being super perfect with this because we do have many other steps that are going to help get rid of that skin as well. My favorite part, the pinky. I really like to attack this pinky, as you can tell. It gets a lot of callus. I do a lot of work to this pinky and it is such a pleasure. If you like to see skin being cut off, then you like this. It's pretty satisfying. If not, so sorry. Time to give them a good buff. Make sure you get all the surfaces, the front, the edges. Clean up any little skin that reveals itself after buffing. And normally you would put cuticle oil on at this step if you were doing regular polish, but I'm going to save that for last because I need my feet to be dry because I'm doing the gel polish. Now we're going at it on the second foot. I just realized I didn't include me buffing this foot, but I did buff it. Here's the part where we're gonna need our gloves. We're using this because the callus remover is not good to touch your skin that doesn't have callus. So I'm gonna use the dark purple side first and I coat it all over my foot. I scrub all over with the dark purple side first and then I switch over to the light purple side to finish off. And whenever I'm done with that foot, I scrub my foot with the brush to get excess callus remover off, scrub the pumice stone, and then do the other foot with the same method. And I do take the gloves off after this because I like to feel my actual skin when I'm massaging and I like to exfoliate my hands themselves and moisturize my hands themselves. So I only wear the gloves for this part. And then I clean off my stone, dry it, set it to the side. Exfoliating in really fast motion, but in real time, it's actually a lot slower. I'll show it to you in real time, just, just for the sake of. This is real time. It just helps get off any dead skin and makes your feet feel fresh. Just really take care of yourself, massage yourself, give your feet some love. 
it is kind of therapeutic to rub your own legs. I don't know why, maybe that's just me. That towel that we had and use that to get off all the extra exfoliant and wipe down our legs. Now I'm going in with my jojoba oil and my moisturizer. I'm going to mix them one pump of each and just massage that all over my legs. Focus on the calves, focus on the heel, the arch of the foot, your toes between the toes. Let's get in there, girl. Now I'm rubbing my toes with alcohol to get all the extra oil off. They look nice and dry. This is the Gelish foundation for my gel polish. I'm applying one coat and curing it in the UV light. You would just use regular base coat if you were doing regular polish and you would skip the light. China Glaze Gel A's white color and I'm going to polish my toes with one coat of white and then cure this coat. We're going to cure between every coat but I didn't show the light every coat because it's kind of blinding. You can clean up with your fingernail any parts that run. It's easy to run into the cuticle at this angle of polishing. And I do apologize that you guys can't see as well as I would like for you to see. It's just really hard for my hand to not cover everything because I'm so much in my own space trying to do this to my own feet. So now we're on the second coat of the white gel polish. This is the Chrome Effect Gel from Daily Charm. I'm going to do one coat of this over the white and cure it. I just really like the way the unicorn chrome looks over the white, so that's why I'm doing the white gel polish. So here we have the unicorn chrome. It's really pretty iridescent. Use this little spongy brush to apply it and just dip it in there. Rub it on, rub it on that big toe. It is so beautiful. I love the way that it looks in the light and catches all the angles. It looks like pink, iridescent, blue, purple. It's hard to tell on camera, but it is beautiful in person. This does only go on gel polish. If you were doing regular polish, then this wouldn't really be an option for you. But the gel on my toes lasts over a month. So I definitely do this to myself. Every time I wear this on my toes, people ask what I'm wearing on my toes. It's like it catches their eye. Beautiful, beautiful. Continue rubbing on all the toes. After you rub it on all the toes, you're just going to dust off all the excess powder and I'm so sad I'm using a Jaclyn Hill brush here but I just had it on hand. I'm ashamed that it went to my feet. This is just a gel top coat. We're applying it over the chrome that we just put and curing it for one last time. And the other foot. Then I just take a file after it's cured and just go around the edges a little, squaring up my toes a little more. If any ran to the sides of my toes, then I just kind of file it off. It makes it really perfect in a crisp line. Now here's the step where I would apply the oil and moisturize my cuticles. Nice, beautiful, moisturized, exfoliated, brand new feet. 
that's the finished look you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something and you feel inspired to do your own feet and give yourself some care love and pampering if you like this video give it a thumbs up so i know you liked it and subscribe if your heart so desires thanks for watching i'll see y'all in the next one